Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before here bringing you guys a subscriber Monday. And I don't know if you guys remember, the last time I brought a subscriber Monday was like around August 2013. So it's really been a long time since I last done this. So uh, what is the best way to start off, you know, a, a subscriber Monday since it's been a very long time? Uh, it's by uh, putting a gameplay from a channel that you support, which is Ghost Girl Cam, aka Miss Agon Rivera here in PSN3. And um, she's a hell of a player, by the way. Let me tell you something about her. She's a hell of a player in the league. In Search and Destroy, when I played with her like a few days ago, she won like around 21 and 5. I was like, what the heck? You know, I've never seen that before. You know, I don't know how the hell does she do does it, but like, goddamn, she's a hell of a player. And also, she, she does post gameplays about Call of Duty Ghost, and uh, she does a hell of a job. She has like around 6 more chem strikes than I do. So, you guys want to do good in Call of Duty Ghost, you're looking for a teammate, you know, she's a hell of a player. Her PSN ID will be in the bottom right corner of your screen. So moving on to the topic, um, Call of Duty versus every single FPS shooter coming up, like for example, Titanfall. You know, can Call of Duty Ghost keep up with Titanfall? My answer is no, they can't. I mean, look at the amount of creativity they added to Titanfall. You can run on walls, you can control a big ass juggernaut of a titan. You know, it's just crazy stuff. You can shoot rockets out of a titan also, which is good st good things. So, um, I mean, that's what Call of Duty is lacking of, the fun factor. Where is the fun of it? Nowhere. Like, they, they took off the spy plane, they took off the predator missiles, they took off several stuff. Like, where are all the stuff that the previous Call of Duty, you know, introduced to? Like, where are they? Nowhere to be found. So, yeah, they took away the fun factor in Call of Duty. Another game that I would like to mention will be Battlefield 4. You know, the weapon mechanics are pretty good. The strategy and advancing towards objectives is pretty good. So, uh, that's where another thing uh, Call of Duty Ghost really fails on. Objectives. Most of the players in Call of Duty Ghost, all they care about is kill streaks, And that's one thing I like about Battlefield 4. You don't have to worry about kill streaks. You don't have to worry about dying because you're only going for an objective. And win the game. That's the main goal. Not getting kill streaks, not getting airstrikes and fucking choppers and several other stuff. No, you don't concentrate on that. You concentrate on the objective and how the hell you can even get there. It's by helping your teammates and helping yourself. So that's what I learned from Battlefield 4. You know, it does take teamwork to win a game. In Call of Duty Ghost, it doesn't take teamwork. It's just take a solo guy who's been an asshole camping in one place or just worrying about himself and end up ends up losing the game. So like See, the, the game is not even balanced at all. Call of Duty Ghost is not even balanced. Another game that I would like to mention will be Blacklight Retribution, a PS4 only game free, free to play. And uh, this game, you can actually customize like endless amount of stuff. Like for example, your character, you can change your helmet, you can change the armor, you can change your leggings, you can change your knife, you can change the camo of your weapon, you can change the attachments, several stuff. And all of them cost like around like around like a, uh, like, 100 coins or something like that it does have some kind of a currency going on which is kind of weird but uh you know i think it's pretty cool you know that kind of currency style thing is pretty cool cool because uh you know black ops 2 did kind of introduce it so uh so yeah i mean i think they do have a lot of creativity in that game because you can change your character armor because if you're changing your helmet and, and your stamina is like 200 and you change your, your helmet to a lighter helmet, you can run faster. If you change your helmet to a heavier helmet, uh, your armor increases, but your stamina uh, decreases. I mean, like, those amount of stats are supposed to be affected every time you change your costume in Call of Duty Ghost. Like, for example, I know in Call of Duty Ghost, they have, like, a big-ass armor. Why doesn't it give you more health and lowers down your speed? I mean, that's the things that they should really be looking at, like... Add a variety of stuff to that game. That's why Call of Duty Ghost is boring. That's why Call of Duty Ghost is dull. No teamwork. You know, I already mentioned about Battlefield 4. I think that's why Call of Duty will not be able to compete against Titanfall and the future games coming up. Like Destiny and uh, Black Knight Retribution once the full game comes out. So, that's it guys for now. And I uh, hope you guys like the, sub the subject because there's going to be more subjects coming up like this later on when it comes down to Skyrim Mondays. So, leave a like. And if you guys want to play with, with Miss Agron Rivera, Adder, her PSN ID will be right there on your screen. So, I'll see you guys later and subscribe.